In this example, I've created a booklet using multiple file sources. Each one of these files need to be identified in the book as its own chapter. To do this, I want to create numbering where the chapter number comes first, followed by the page number. To accomplish this, we can use the Edit Numbering and Stamps tool inside of Fiery Job Master. Let me show you how this works. In Command Workstation, I have a two-page job, which is the front and back cover for the catalog. I'm going to right-click in this job and then go down and select Job Master. Now with Job Master open, the next step is to add the files into this document. To do that, I'm going to select my Files window, and I'm going to select these five individual documents and drag them between the first and last page of this document. And if you notice here, that it is automatically added chapters for each one of the files. So let me show you what I mean. Here you can see, here are the chapter starts for each one of the files that have been inserted between the first and last page. Also take notice that Job Master automatically inserted blank pages where each chapter starts. This is to make certain that your book always has your chapters starting on the right hand side inside the booklet. Now it's time to add our numbering. To do this, we are going to select the pages that we want to add our numbers to. So in this example, it's pages 2 through 77. We'll right click on those pages and I will select Edit Numbering and Stamps. So from the numbering tool, the first thing I'm going to do is select the range. And as you're going to notice here, we've got the range 2 through 77 selected. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to position my number where I want it to start. So I'll get that all set up. I'll then come up to my numbering tools and I'll change the font to a larger size and I will center it. So now you're going to see we have the number three there. The next step is to change our type. Currently our type for this document is set to page, meaning we're looking at each individual page. We want to look at this document based on chapter. So we're going to change this type from page over to chapter. The next thing I want to do is I want to delete the syntax from the text stamp field and I want to replace it with the chapter type syntax that will create the proper numbering for chapters. So I'm going to select chapter and then I'm going to select current chapter. This will put a number one there since this is the first chapter based off the bookmark. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dash in the field and then I'm going to go back to the type selection and I'm going to select chapter then current page based off the chapter. So now you're going to see it's chapter one, page one. And finally, the last step is to turn on mirror under print options. What this does is this makes certain that the number always stays on the outer edge of the pages when flipping through it. So as you can see here in this example, we've got chapter one, page four. If we flip the page, you're going to see chapter one, page five, chapter one, page six, so on and so forth as we flip through this document with a chapter number never changing, but the page numbers do until we get to the next chapter. So in this example here, you can see that chapter two is now started with page one. And if we continue to flip through, the same thing will hold true where the chapter number does not change and the page number does. So this is how easy it is to set up dynamic chapter numbering using Fiery Job Master.